he, this black Merc pulls up, sh shoots these two people yeah. only and drives off. So it looks yeah. at this stage like a clear hit. Mm -hmm. um, are police saying that it was a hit? So they're not. And so um, this morning, the assault GBH case that was meant to proceed, the uh, state asked for the um, four accused that are appearing in this court that evidence be taken from them just so they could either include or exonerate them from this case because the two were meant to testify in this case. There was a lot of emphasis on they're not actually suspects, but we just want to cover all our bases essentially because they were going to testify. Not that we're linking them, but they were going to testify and so okay. we're here. Just, just, just guide me through because I'm losing track a little bit. Mm. What I understand is that the couple that was shot dead um, had been accused, or the woman had been accused, mm. as a domestic worker of potentially being involved in a house robbery mm. somewhere in Randburg. Yeah. Well, and she then alleges that the police assaulted her? So the robbery happened a few years ago, around uh, 2018 in Midrand. There was a house uh, robbery. And in the process of the investigations, there was a suspicion that she was, she was a domestic worker at this house, that she was possibly involved in this house robbery. She was then uh, uh, arrested for this. And while she was in custody, the four police officers booked her out, took her somewhere, assaulted her there uh, for a few hours, brought her back in, booked her back in, uh, and then she was in there. A few hours after that, she then laid a counter charge, or charge against them to say that I've been assaulted by these guys, and this is in 2018. And so that matter has been going on where they, she accused them of assault, and this was meant to be heard this morning. And so, you know, the state was saying, we want to just make sure, exclude them, or maybe they are part of this, but so they wanted to take their guns, they wanted to take their cell phones, they wanted whose to guns do, and whose cell phones? They, the four accused. Okay. This so case. there are four yeah. men who were accused Police by this officers. woman who was shot dead. Yeah. Police officers who were in court mm. on this case. So they are they don't want to jump to conclusions, but they want there's to, a possibility that yes. possibly these four because accused. the two were coming to testify against in this them. case. Yeah. So it looks for all intents and purposes, possibly that, you know, could they be linked? Could they not be linked? So the state did ask that um, they have gunpowder uh, residue testing on the four, um, that also their cell phones be taken just to ascertain where they were. Um, and also maybe the conversation that might have been going on and also the, their guns, their personal guns, as well as their work guns. For ballistics testing to possibly find out which gun or whose gun was used uh, in today's in this morning's uh, case so you have basically two cases well now three so you have the house robbery that happened in midrand in 2018 then you also have the assault case where she had accused these four police officers of assaulting her and now you have this double murder that happened this morning all linked to kind of one initial um, case sally are these four cops out on bail they are they are are they still working police officers so that we couldn't uh, establish um, but i imagine they possibly would have been suspended because this is an ongoing matter and it has been going on for the past five years um, i think just to say an interesting thing was the defense today was arguing that you know if for the state saying that they want all of these things from these people but the uh, one of the deceased had not complained ever that I've been harassed by these people in the last five years, even though there's this case happening, but she hadn't, you know, complained about being harassed by them. So why would you think, why would you want to take, why would you want to include or exclude them from this? Why do you have a suspicion about them? You know, so I think that was interesting. But it, just in terms of their work situation, I, you know, we weren't able to, as, to ascertain that uh, specifically, but I imagine that there would be because mm. they have been going to this court case for the past five years. So. All right. And I know you've got a clip. Let's listen to it and we can chat again afterwards. Sure. We were requesting um, for the court to make an order for us to seize the cell phones of the four police officers who are suspect, who are accused in the matter um, wherein a lady was assaulted. They were charged with assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. She was one of our witnesses together with her husband. Those are the two people that we can confirm that were um, gunned, were, were allegedly gunned down. We can confirm that um, the complaint, the main complainant in the assault case against the police officers 
was the one who was allegedly gunned down together with her husband. She had already given her evidence in chief and was due for cross-examination today. So for now, anyone is a possible suspect, and as the state, we had to secure the necessary evidence in terms of requesting to seize the cell phones of the accused persons before court, um, as well as have them tested for gun residue powder, as well as for them to hand over both their private and official firearms. And we can't as yet release the names of the couple that was killed, bearing in mind that uh, she was testifying that she had allegedly been assaulted by these police officers. She's now been murdered, mm -hmm. as has her husband. Mm -hmm. Does that mean the case collapsed today? So this is going to be what happens on the 23rd of November. So that assault GBH case was essentially postponed to the 23rd of November, where senior prosecutor must now decide what happens to this case because two of his witnesses and the main complainant, uh, one of them, uh, are no longer in the picture. And so essentially what remains of this case. And so that matter has now been uh, postponed to the 23rd of November. Today was a bit, you know, because it was meant to be about this assault case, but then it ended up being an, uh, an application by the state to uh, seize all of these things. Mm. And the defense was saying, but we haven't, we understand the circumstances of this thing, but we haven't really been given enough time to prepare ourselves to give evidence. Also, is it constitutionally fair that you want to do subject our clients to all of these things but the judge uh, the magistrate said you know it's an urgent matter and so I do have to grant the state's order so it's yeah. all very I mean it must have been absolute chaos and panic at the courtroom uh, you you know <laughs> this woman arrives to give testimony yeah. uh, and essentially she's in a way it seems like she's a whistleblower because she says she was assaulted by police exactly. and she clearly was prepared to go forward and say this is what exactly. happened to me mm -hmm. this was wrong. She's gunned down in broad daylight mm -hmm. alongside her husband. Is there talk now of what went wrong? Why, were these, why was this couple not somehow better protected? Mm -hmm. Are there any discussions around beefing up security around the courthouse? What mm -hmm. sort of discussions are happening, if any? Yeah, so the initial uh, statements from uh, SAPS this morning, you know, there's no indication of that. And I think maybe they were still kind of trying to work out what had been going on and what, how all of this happened. So I imagine in the next few days, you know, given the status of the people that were accused in the initial matter, that might uh, force that to happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there might be a beefing up of security. But initially, uh, there was no talk of that. I, I must say, though, that we were all very confused arriving there, just in terms of what is actually going on? Is this the matter? This new application is now being heard. Where does this leave the previous Pulling. matter? And just, just trying to wrap our heads around the media, just trying to wrap our heads around what had actually happened, what was actually going on. But in terms of the security at the moment, there hasn't been an update, but that initial statement just gave a breakdown of what happened this morning and who the, well, just to say that a man and a woman, a couple had been shot uh, this morning, Sally. All right, well, thank you for telling us what you know. Uh, a couple gunned down in broad daylight right outside the Randberg Magistrates Court. That's our reporter, Lonnie M. Timkula, giving us the latest on that story.